Today was the day we were finally going to reach the Arctic Circle and coincidentally it turned out to be the longest day of the year which was great news for us because this morning we decided we were going to ride 350 kilometers through the most remote part of Finland on our map. I don't even know how to use the map. All my left and right. This was over 100 kilometers more than we'd done before in a single day and it was definitely a day with plenty of bumps in the road. Holy moly. Jesus. Okay, so I'm glad that I checked before we started riding as we're only maybe 30 kilometers away from the Arctic Circle line and the border to Lapland, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna set that as a marker on my map now so we can stop there. So 33.5 kilometers to reach the Arctic Circle. That's mental, isn't it? Let's go. Hi. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry, I only speak English. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Have you seen a dog? No, no. We've just turned off a lane up there and we didn't see any dog. Yeah, from the gravel road? Yes. Yeah, all right. That's great. Because that's the next thing, place I thought. No, I, d I didn't see any dog. Okay, well, let's say you see a grey, a little bit called, uh, like a husky. Yeah. Husky, husky. <laughs> white on the color. Just, you know, if the next two kilometers, can you hold? Like, yeah. So maybe I can hear. Okay. Yeah, if I see it, I'll turn back round and... and... Yeah, her name is Corby. She might follow you. Okay. Many of them, and she found a hole, I don't know from where. Yeah. So, yeah, now I'm just driving around. Okay. Yeah, yeah good luck. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, bless him. Right, keep your eye out for a husky. I'm keeping my eyes peeled so much now, I'm trying to look for it. I don't think I'll be able to pronounce <laughs> the dog's name though. <laughs> when he said it, I was like, yeah, no, not happening. Oh man, it must be horrible losing a dog out here. This is quite fitting. Just as we're crossing the border into Lapland, Rudolph's here. <laughs> oh, amazing, we've literally just crossed the border. Two kilometers until the Arctic Circle. Hey, oh! Wow! There's loads! Three babies. I want to get a photo of that. Oh, please stay there. Are they going to be chill with me? No. Normally, uh, when you cross into the Arctic Circle, there is sometimes a um, little miniature Arctic statue thingy. Is it here? Yeah, this is the spot. This is where we have lined up to be where the Arctic Circle is. Like Marvin said, there's nowhere for us to obviously see it. you just got to sort of feel it. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're going to have to make our own. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, the stick's not doing too good. Are you ready? Ready? Three, Three two, 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 one, one. go! Oh, I stalled it because I'm wheeling! <laughs> oh my god! Mitch! <laughs> I can't believe that! Why did you do that? What happened? I've 
I like really pulled off and then pulled a wheelie and then I stalled it. Oh you have, man, that's you funny. have to do something like that, don't you? I don't know why I did it because the drone can't even see me wheeling. Idiot. Oh well, we're officially into the Arctic Circle now and it doesn't feel any different but it's pretty cool to say that we've made it to the Arctic Circle. Can you believe you've made it here when you only passed your license in Feb? I know, I know. I don't know when it's going to hit me that I, I passed it in March so and we're in June and um, I don't even know when it's going to hit me. I feel like it's got to at some point that this is all real life. But yeah, it's, it's crazy to think that we're in the Arctic Circle. I've always wanted to come up here and we're here. It's, it's mad, absolutely mad. Look at this weather in front of us. Oh, you can see the rain coming out of that cloud over there. Wow, it's just dark over there. It's feeling very, very ominous. Ominous. <laughs> Just started raining, so we're quickly getting our waterproofs on before we get absolutely saturated. I think this is only going to get worse. We haven't been able to check the weather, so we're just taking this as it's probably going to rain for a while. And I also just don't want to get everything wet like we did yesterday because it's so cold on your body. Right, let's get these bad boys on. As we put on our waterproofs, the weather got progressively worse and we had to take the GoPros off our chins. The lanes we were heading down were quite slippery and technical compared to the wide gravel we'd grown used to and it just made me so glad for the training we did on the tougher stuff back home. Even if Mitch did have to wait for me a couple of times to catch up, I was making it through and without any real hassle. My gloves are so wet. See you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. The two people who we just said bye to are doing the same route as us, two Dutch guys. They said that the whole way that they've been riding, that they've been following our tracks. It's funny as well because we've not seen any tracks and they said that they've seen tracks the whole way. <laughs> so they've just been seeing ours, which I think is bizarre considering how remote we are now. And we just had a great conversation with them and it was so nice to chat. This is going to be embarrassing. Oh, we have gone the wrong way. Yeah, because <laughs> my map wouldn't, my map wouldn't go up. So now we're going to have to swing around here and wait to them again. Bye bye. So we might see them again. I mean, we're going to see them again now because we've turned around. <laughs> but I mean, they're doing similar case to us. It was dead funny. Like they were doing the same thing as us, the same case as us and had been staying in the same sort of shelters so I'm surprised it's taken us this long to to like see them and it was only because we were waiting out some rain that we did actually cross their path <laughs> Could turn your bike off and roll off <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> I mean, you can't miss us, can we? We look like freaking highlighters. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now we're back onto the trail. We were at that um, shop for way longer than just lunch. Not because of talking necessarily, but because we were waiting out the rain because there was an absolute downpour that we saw whilst we were there. And I didn't fancy getting any more wet than we needed to. So we've got a lot to cover still. We're going to see how we get on. Wow, yeah. We're, we're setting off now, three o'clock, and we've got 235 kilometers left. And that's more than what we were doing when we were leaving at like 11, 12 o'clock. So the plan basically is to just chug along and see how we get on. I would like to see this 235 out, but it's not going to be any like we won't signal tonight but I'm not going to lose sleep over having to stop if we get too tired. If we can't fill up at the place 
that I was planning to fill up with in 100 kilometers, then we are going to be at the back end of the range of our tank by the time we've reached a proper petrol station. So let's hope that we're all right. All right, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. So I've got a pin on my map that says old railroad, stay north side of the track. I'm pretty sure that's what this means because north is that way. Yeah, you can actually ride down it. That's sick, Marth. We've got to ride down it. Do you want me to get you over? Yeah. Please. Right, you ready? Yep. You can tell that people have been riding down here. Just wow, oh, this is running. Really... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. I think we were meant to stay on there, but there was that big bush to up in the strong going. <laughs> I'm staying on the track. You're staying on? Yeah. Were we meant to be going this way? <laughs> no, I think we were meant to get over to that right hand side, but I'll, we'll get over in a sec. Oh my god! My bike's, my bike's gonna rattle to bits! I'm a train! Choo choo! <laughs> oh shit, how am I gonna get over this now? Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to have to get off. There we go. Right, I'll come get yours. Is that your stand? That's the bottom of your bike. Your bike's so low. Oh, you got it. Oh, we're getting straight back on it. Wow, it looks so cool. Yeah, this is cool. Wow. Oh shit, I meant to be conserving fuel. I get carried away. Oh, that was fun. After that bit of excitement, we were quickly back on the long straight gravel roads, putting plenty of quick kilometres behind us until we came to this. Oh, no, no, no. Well, this ain't good. This is the way that we're meant to be going. And... Well, yeah, there is absolutely nothing else around us to go round this. You are joking. Well, that's not going to help with fuel. Well, I don't even know how we can go round this, Marv. Oh, no. Right, I'm going to have to sit and have a look at the map for a little bit. Okay, so I'm making the executive decision in this situation. Martha's not sure, but she's going to have to trust me. You can lift this corner up, which is why I'm through here. And we've just had a little argument off screen, but I'm taking the higher ground, I'm sorry. But I'm pretty sure we've got no signal, so we can't see what this sign says. But I'm fairly certain that this is across here, 
just as like a gate that we need to just shut behind us whether they've got stuff breeding inside this area or not i'm not sure but if we get 20 kilometers down this road and it's there's no end to it then i'll apologize a lot but i think i'm right To me, there's no way, if they didn't want you coming in here, they would let you just open the gate up like that. That's my personal opinion. Well, I'm gonna, oh, I've already lost it. I need to Google it when I get signal. Have you screenshotted it? Yeah, but if someone comes over to us now with this massive shotgun on a quad bike, we can't exactly say, oh, we didn't realise we shouldn't be in here. No, I, I'm, I'm quite confident. I'm going to go steady in case it's because the road has washed out or something. But I'm, I'm confident. Oh my God, this is how quickly something can turn around here. That's what I nearly just rode into. <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to put a stick inside here so no one else does what I nearly just did. Look at the mark. I went shit off. Wow, it goes for miles. Right, I need to get a stick. And that's just because this little stream is running underneath the road. And that's really reminded me now that we need to be extra vigilant I should not have been going down there fast enough to not catch that but I mean look at this I'm what 15 meters away from it now where are we now 20 meters away from it and it's not visible makes you think holy moly Jesus! Oh, how pretty! Right, hopefully that stops anyone falling down there. That's mad. That's like the ones at home. Marv, just as a precautionary now, you just hang back like 30 seconds behind me. So at least it's just me who bloody crashes if something like that comes up again. I think I'm going to stand up this hallway as well so I can see better. Well, um, I'd rather it be me because I'm pretty useless without you. No, you'll be all right. I don't even know how to use the map. All my left and right. Okay, so this is officially section 21. Oh, and there's a barrier there. Enter at your own risk. Oh no, never mind, we're coming to a road. <laughs> this is the section of trail that on our TET file that we downloaded, it says, do not ride alone. Uh, if you crash here, no one can get to you. So, to reiterate what I've just said about taking it really steady, well, oh, look at that view. Okay, so we've just got a little bit of signal and my Google Translate was still open. So I now know what it said. <laughs> Do you want to know, Mitch? Reindeer, close the gate. <laughs> That's what that sign said. Yes, I love being right. Yeah, reindeer, close the gate. That's all it was. I'll make sure to make a note about that and everyone brush up when you finish. <laughs> Yes, I'm just checking how far we've got until fuel because we've just just gone past a waypoint where there's a possibility to get fuel from a restaurant that's in the middle of nowhere, but we've got 161 kilometers left until fuel and we made a clip earlier. I'll play it now. I am on 2365 and I'm pretty sure that I said that I was on two, three, six, five kilometers. So that means that I've done 160 kilometers 
and we've got 160 left and we should easily do 350 kilometers on a tank so we should be good should be fine yeah yeah it gives us a 30 kilo win 30 kilo 30 kilometer window okay what we're going oh yeah have you not got your gloves on we're three kilometers away from where we're planning on sleeping tonight in a town called locker which is right next to this massive lake but that cell phone tower is really really calling our names this lake looks like the sea because it's windy right now as well, it actually looks, there's waves everywhere and, oh, is it a dam? Oh. So although we're pretty remote right now, that can either be a blessing or a curse because this shelter that we're going to is the only one in this area. And because we're so remote, you'd think that's fine. We won't have anyone here. However, because it is the only one and we are in the middle of nowhere, it could mean that there is someone here. Oh, is there? Is there no one that is that where it is, Mitch? I didn't see anyone, did you? What is this place? Is this is this right? Is this where we're meant to be staying? Oh, it's rather windy. Whoa, that is Baltic. We've quickly found out why no one else is camping here and that's because it's bloody awful. We just got halfway through setting up the tent just there and we couldn't even get the pegs to stay in the ground because the tent was just blowing away. So we're gonna go 10 kilometers back on ourselves and try and find another shelter that I've seen on the map. So this is where it started to go a bit tits up. Because we were getting tired from such a big day out on the bike, we were starting to make stupid decisions. Riding back 10 kilometers to another potential camp spot wasn't a great idea because that was another 20 kilometers taken off our already low fuel threshold. On the way there, I nearly lost my duffel bag from putting it on really sloppy. And to make matters worse, when we got there, the mosquitoes were worse than they'd ever been. And the spot was really unlevel. We thought about just setting up anyway so we could get some rest, but instead decided to ride another hour to the next town where we had a much better chance of finding a nice campsite. Although we saw another huge reindeer and the views were still amazing, we were starting to grow more and more short-tempered with each other the longer time went on and the more tired we became. Now, to cut a long story short, we got fuel when we arrived at the next town, tried another shelter which was 30 minutes out of the way and it turned out to be at some sort of museum so we couldn't stay there. But finally, after riding another 20 minutes towards another camp spot, this one came good. What a day it has been. We've finally got set up. We're next to, believe it or not, the same lake, I think, that we were originally trying to camp on when the tent was blowing all over the place. That's how big it is. We're parked once again, right next to another shelter. Martha's decompressing for the day. She's in better spirits now that she knows food's on the way. But yeah, it's half past 11 and we're just making tea. <sighs> Want to give some final thoughts? I feel like today has been filled with highs. Like we crossed the Arctic Circle. That doesn't feel like it was today. Lows. I've been freezing cold and wet and hungry for the majority of it and just not being able to find a camp spot which I suppose is just it is good in a way because it shows you that it can't always be lakes and sunshine yeah like as easy as they have been like we've been so lucky with how easy campsites have been for us um, and also a lot of riding I, we'd been riding for like 11 hours and 35 minutes all in today like from when we left to putting up the tent here that's how long it was nearly 12 hours of riding so it's been a very very long day um but i'm happy now that we're here ready for bed i'm ready for bed <laughs> yeah and food and then bed but at least we made it 
Yay!